In this video, we're going to take a look at the temperature dependence of gas phase heat capacities. So the specific heat capacity of a gas can vary, vary considerably with temperature. And here's an example for methyl cyclohexane. And you can see that as the temperature goes up, there's this variation in the specific heat capacity of the gas. Okay, so various equations have been uh, proposed and used to model the temperature dependence of gas phase heat capacities. And here are some of the references to, uh, to the different examples of these equations. Now, many of these equations are empirical, meaning that they've got no theoretical underpinning to them. And also the selection of the equation that's used to fit experimental data appears to be arbitrary. There doesn't appear to be any rules uh, around which equation should be selected for a certain situation. Okay, let's start with the Showmate equation then. This was originally used in 1944 to model the heat capacity of solids, but later on it has influenced uh, the equations that are used for gas phase heat capacities. So this is of the form Cp equals A plus Bt plus Ct to the minus 2. Now T is the temperature and then A, B and C are adjustable parameters that can be found by fitting to experimental data. Okay, there's also a, a polynomial form of the equation that can be used for to model gas phase heat capacities and this has been used as early as 1948 and it's of the form Cp equals A plus Bt plus Ct squared plus Dt cubed. And again, A, B, C and D are these adjustable parameters that are found by fitting to experimental data. We also have a hybrid form of the equation, which combines the Showmate equation and the polynomial equation. And this is used by NIST in their chemistry web book. So it's in the form Cp equals A plus Bt plus Ct squared plus Dt cubed plus E times T to the minus 2. And again, these parameters are found by fitting to experimental data. So these previous examples are all empirical in nature, but there are equations that have theoretical underpinnings. And so one example is uh, an equation that has an exponential form. And this has a remote basis in statistical thermodynamics, and it was proposed in 1968. So it's of the form Cp equals A plus B times exponential of C divided by T to the power of N. And A, B, C and N are species specific parameters. There's also um, an equation that has been derived from statistical thermodynamic theory for heat, ideal heat capacity of gases. Um, and this was proposed in 1981. Again, there are some species specific parameters, a little bit more complicated now. Um, and whilst this equation appears to be more accurate from the work that's been done, it's computationally more demanding and it doesn't appear to have been widely adopted, certainly not in chemical engineering circles for modelling gas phase heat capacity. So there's various data sources uh, available uh, to be able to get the parameters for these equations. So rather than having to fit the equations yourself and get the parameters, we can look at various sources. Um, some sources use this type of equation where we have Cp divided by R equals A plus Bt plus Ct squared plus D times T to the power of minus two. And this is where the Cp value has been divided by R, the gas constant. They have the same units and so it makes this equation sort of um, dimensionless in terms of the number that you get out at the end. Okay, here's an example of some different parameters that have been reported in Smith and Van Ness from 1996 uh, using the form of the equation Cp over R uh, that's shown here. And T is in kelvins and you can go from 298 kelvin to a, temp a maximum temperature 
that's shown in the table. OK, in terms of temperature range, whichever form of the equation and parameters that are used, it's really important that you only use them within the specified temperature range. And really, extrapolation beyond those limits is, is really not recommended. So that's been a short video about temperature dependence of gas phase heat capacities. I hope you found that useful. Thank you very much for watching and please remember to like, comment and subscribe.